are a person built on Christ. Your identity is rooted in the foundation of the objectivity of Christ's death and resurrection. In other words, at the very most foundational level, the very most inside basic part of yourself, you are a Christian. You've been made so by the Lord Jesus. You were made by him. You were stitched together by God in the womb. And you were redeemed by Christ, God in the flesh, who has died so that you would no longer simply be a creature, but now are considered to be a son and an heir of the promise. In other words, you're counted as part of God's own family. And this is the building blocks upon which we build our whole self-identity. You see, everything that's unique about me or about you, well, that starts from and builds on that beginning foundation. So I'm a pastor. So my identity as pastor is built on my first identity as being a Christian. The same can be said for my identity as a father or a husband or anything else about myself, including the things I like and dislike, the hobbies and abilities that I have. All of that is built on Christ. Which means then that any of these things might be taken away from me due to infirmity or age or accident. Well, I'm still me because my identity is rooted in something that never changes in Jesus Christ. Now, this is important because a lot of times when these things are taken away from us, well, it leads us to wondering and worrying about whether we really are who we thought we were, about whether we still have value, about whether we have a place that we belong and fit in in the world. And as Christians, we may certainly lament and grieve when things don't work out like we like. Maybe I lose a job and it upsets me. Maybe I had a skill that I thought I was good at and it turns out I was only at best mediocre. Maybe somebody close to me has died, a friend or a family member, and so my whole identity as being related to that person now is gone. This is how we navigate these sorts of things. Our identity is built in Christ. And so even if some of the stuff that's built on that foundation is taken away from us, even if hard things threaten to knock us right off uh, the foundation we're built on so that we're taking everything down back to the ground level, we still have Christ doesn't mean that making it through these things is going to be easy or fun, but it does mean that we always have a stable foundation to fall back on, a place where our feet can be planted, so that even if we don't understand, even when the tears come, even when we lack explanations, we do know one thing for sure, that we belong to Christ, that Him crucified is our salvation. And because of that, well... There will be nothing in this world that can ever unseat us entirely. There'll never be a thing that can make it so that we are entirely unmoored or completely detached from our identity because we always have Christ. Christ holds us and keeps us. No matter the things that we value as a creature, no matter the things that we decide that we think are important for our self-identity, Christ holds us. And when we lose those things, when we go through down times, he doesn't stop doing that. He's promised to. In fact, he's laid down his life so that he would hold us forever in the forgiveness of sins. That's who we are. We're Christians. We belong to Christ.